Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And I want to ask a question. Have you been having problems killing cockroaches? Are you using boric acid to try to get rid of cockroaches? Why isn't it working? Boric acid is a, it's a mineral. Basically, it's a boron derivative mineral in a dust form that when you sprinkle it around, the cockroaches crawl through it, they lick it off their feet, and they die. A lot of people don't know that's how boric acid works. But what happens when you dust for cockroaches and the cockroaches don't die from the boric acid? That's the question I'm going to answer. The reason that I uh, am doing this video is because I actually got asked via messenger on Facebook, uh, why, you know, how to use boric acid or whatever. So I thought, well, you know, that's a, that's a question that a lot of people probably don't know about cockroaches is cockroaches clean themselves like cats. So they're constantly trying to clean their bodies. They're licking their hands and their, you know, antennas and all that stuff, trying to clean themselves and keep themselves pristine. So what happens when you go and you pour a whole bunch of boric acid around and that the roaches don't die? The reason the roaches aren't dying is because they're not crawling through the boric acid. So, when you kill cockroaches, when you're trying to kill cockroaches with a dust of any any type of dust, <coughs> it doesn't matter if it's boric acid, doesn't matter if it's DE, Semexa, uh, what's another one? Uh, just insecticide dust on a whole. Roaches are not going to crawl through the dust unless they cannot see the dust. You have to convince them to crawl through something as if it's not there. So the way I explain to people, and I've done, a, I've actually got a few dusting videos that I'll link in the, uh, <coughs> either in the cards, you know, up here, up there, wherever YouTube decides to put it, or, uh, sorry, I keep coughing. I've been last tail end of this flu, and... I can keep a cough for months, never can get rid of it. But anyway, uh, what I was going to say is with German cockroaches, you have to put the dust down to where they do not see the dust. So the way I explain it to people is if you're watching television in the middle of the night and you get up in the, and, and, you, and you walk over to the TV and it's dark and you walk over to the TV and you drag your finger across the screen and you see a trail, that's because dust has collected on your TV screen that you didn't see until you drug your finger through it. That's how thin the dust needs to be. You can't really see it, and the roaches can't see it either. And so they will crawl through it by mistake. And when they go to clean themselves, they lick it off of their feet and off of their underbelly and off of their body parts and stuff because that's where they've collected it. Because they will drag their body through the dust. Diet... Uh, not diatomaceous, I'm sorry, boric acid has to kill the roach through ingestion. And the only way you can get the roach to eat the dust willingly is that they don't know it's there. Now, you can make roach bait out of boric acid, and I also have a video about that that I'm also going to post here. But um, it's easier to get them just to walk through it. So when you're using a duster, you need to hold your duster you, for one, don't fill your duster full. Don't have a full duster. Because if your duster is full, it's going to be harder for you to be able to apply the dust effectively. You need it to be about half full so you can shake it really good and you create a cloud inside the duster. Hold your duster where your spout, because there's lots of different types of dusters. I actually have some dusters that I've used in the past listed on my Amazon site if you want to go check them out and look at them. But they, you need like an air pocket inside the duster so that the dust can kind of billow around and form like this cloud. And that's what you're going to puff. You're going to puff that little bit of dust and it'll float up and it will settle down. So what you do is you put the tip of your duster inside a crack or a crevice or a wall void and you shake it up real good. And then you put that little end in there and you puff it just a little puff and it will like that inside the wall void or in the crack and it will settle down and the roaches won't know it's there. Now that's all you need. You don't need any more than that. 
You may not be able to see the dust after it's been applied, but that's what you want. You don't want the dust to be visible because you don't want the roaches to see it. The way I explain it to people is if you're walking and it's the middle of winter and it just snowed and you've got a six foot drift that you could walk through or you could continue to walk to where there's just like a quarter inch or a half inch of snow, you're gonna walk through the half inch of snow. You're not gonna walk through six feet of snow. People will put boric acid to where it's like that thick all around their baseboards. It'll be piled up underneath their refrigerators, in their cabinets, their cupboards, and it's not really killing anything at all when it's applied that way. Um, same with diatomaceous earth, the same with any other type of dust. It cannot be applied to where the bugs will see it. Less is more in the case of dust. So hopefully this has been a nice little tidbit of information for you on how to apply dust properly. You can get rid of German cockroaches fairly inexpensively by using boric acid dust. You just need to use it in a way the roaches are going to crawl through it. Now, uh, I will admit, when using boric acid, it does take longer to kill roaches. It's not going to stop roaches from reproducing or anything like that. So they can still have babies and stuff. But the plus side of boric acid is that they do not develop an immunity to it. Because it's a mineral, because it's not a chemical, they ingest it and it kills them internally. It works really, really, really well. Uh, you can do the same thing with things like diatomaceous earth where they'll crawl through it. And they'll lick that off their feet too. Um, but I usually don't recommend diatomaceous earth or really any dusts at all. And the reason that I don't recommend using dusts for just the average guy, you know, to go out and, and, and do pest control is because you don't want to accidentally inhale dust, especially insecticide or diatomaceous earth because they, it can harm you internally. And so if you're going to apply dust and you really don't know how to apply dust or you've never really done it, for a living or you know you don't have a lot of experience with it uh, wear a dust mask at the least or a respirator because this is going to protect your lungs it's going to protect your your respiratory system it's going to protect your mouth inside of your mouth you don't want to inhale any of that stuff you don't want to be any in your nose you don't want it in your mouth you don't want to ingest it always wear gloves when you use a duster because the stuff will get everywhere. Uh, dust is a mess. It, it, I hate using dust, but sometimes you just have to do it. Um, so hopefully this has helped you guys understand why you're not able to kill roaches with boric acid and maybe you can change your technique a little bit and be more successful. You guys have a really great day. I appreciate it. It's been Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. If you like this video, uh, think about giving me a thumbs up below, share it around with your friends, and uh, I'll be seeing y'all later. Thanks a lot.